So for insomnia, a few other drugs are being explored. Uh, for example, uh, cannabinoid agents. Uh, as you know, the cannabinoid receptors are helpful potentially not only for sleep, but also for anxiety. Um, uh, antihistaminic agents are being explored, although some are available, more are being developed. Uh, or other orexin receptor antagonists are also being explored and developed. Uh, uh, and, uh, and then finally, some non-pharmacologic agents are being looked at. For example, there's a device now which is a head cooling device, uh, which, which uh, positioned over the head can actually cool the brain. And we think by doing so can actually produce better sleep. Many of the apps that we currently have are being developed further, not only to monitor sleep, but also to be able to help us stay asleep and fall asleep and stay asleep through some of the interventions that they give us in terms of uh, uh, recommendations on how to sleep better, maybe even anxiety reduction techniques. So there's a lot happening in the field of sleep, uh, uh, and, and we'll see much more about this in the next few years. Well, first of all, in treating insomnia in the elderly, it's important uh, to look for underlying causes of insomnia that one can directly treat. Uh, physiologic disturbances, physical disturbances such as sleep apnea, restless legs. Uh, number two, look for psychiatric conditions which should be treated primarily or directly. Uh, so treat the specific cause as opposed to treating insomnia directly first. Number two, if you have to treat insomnia directly, think of cognitive behavioral therapy, non-pharmacologic techniques first. Adjustment of one's sleep-wake cycle, making sure that there's good sleep hygiene, less light during the course of the evening, uh, uh, and, and, and uh, less uh, reduction of the uh, uh, offending agents, pharmacologic agents, which bother sleep, for example, stimulants and so on, adjusting medication dosages. So do whatever you can to uh, intervene non-pharmacologically in the case of insomnia, if possible. And finally, if you have to intervene pharmacologically, think of the agents which have the lowest array of potential side effects and use the lowest possible dose.